It's your boy Slick B, back at you live again with another War Thunder video, if I don't jamble my words. So I have a stream highlight today, this is going to be a good one. We're going to talk over a stream highlight, because it's the best challenger game I've ever had. Now the challenger is a tough tank to play, I'll talk a little bit more about why I think that uh, in the video itself, but just know that challenger bliss awaits. And if you are a UK fan, and you're like Slick, you haven't been uploading UK stuff, you're in for a treat. Now, I didn't expect my best game to be on full day either. I usually despise this map when we get to top tier. It's a sniping map, it's very big and open, and you have to drive for like 40 minutes to get into the battle, especially in the Challenger. But since it's a sniping tank that should be used to hold down, I didn't mind the challenge. We, we took it on to full day. I'll, I'll play this and we'll jay out. Now, I skipped a portion in the beginning where I just kind of sat in the back and waited for the enemy to act. You can't really push in this thing. Challenger, Chieftain, Actually, most British tanks become very vulnerable when they move out of cover. I, obviously, every tank becomes vulnerable, but it has they have bad hull armor. They're notorious for getting penned to the side, and the ammo rack is super exposed in the, in the front of the tank, and that goes for all of the British tanks. So I'm sitting back, I see that B is captured, and we're just waiting to move in. Now, all the footage you're seeing right now, I said, is a stream highlight. If you're down to follow the stream, the link will be in the description down below. I stream every day, play War Thunder and some other games along with that. Now, games like this aren't necessarily regular. I do, I do some awesome stuff, I think, on occasion. We get lucky. Um, but this was definitely a suit of lucky, being in the right spot at the right time, and kind of knowing the map. So here we go. We're out of cover. The Chieftain, or the Chally, excuse me, is uh, very vulnerable in this position. We're moving across to go over to B. Now, I don't want to go directly to the B point. I know that the people who cap B are most likely going to be coming out either going down to the other cap point or coming towards me at this location. So I'm gonna find a bush and kind of sit up. And here we go, we have the first victim, a T-64, and that carousel does not stand a chance. Now you'll notice when I fight T-64s how easy it is to kill these tanks. If anybody has questions, because you're just getting into top tier on where to shoot tanks and stuff, note where I'm shooting in this match, and most of the time, that's where you should be shooting. Now that was a bad shot. That guy was on two crew, I can tell, because I only killed one of his crew members, which you won't normally get away with. But I kind of thought it was a T-64. Just whipped a shot over there and shot for the carousel. And that's always what you have to do against T-64. Shoot for that carousel. If they angle at all, hit that, hit it. The ammo rack blows up, the turret goes off in a very cool blow off fashion, and it's great. So now we're on two kills, Leopard 2K and the T-64, I move in and bounce a shot to the right. Well, I actually soak one um, through my driver. I got very fortunate there and it didn't kill me. That was a bad shot on his part. He easily could have finished me, but you know, it happens. And uh, we were lucky enough to turn around and hit that carousel. If somebody can count in the comments how many times I'm gonna say that this match. And if you don't know what I'm referring to, the T-64's ammo stowage system is in a circle around the bottom of the turret, which means it's pretty much vulnerable from any which way and causes the turret to pop off like a cork when you're opening a bottle of champagne or something whenever you hit that carousel, which is awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's awesome for everybody but the T64 driver. I know multiple occasions in my T64V, you th you're just like, no, the ammo rack. Now we cap B, or we didn't cap B, I decap B. I didn't want the enemies to know where I was. Uh, circled around after killing that T-64, checked the perimeter, and now moving back into cap. We gotta keep the caps up, and whenever your team's down by a cap or something like this, it's better to just stunt the ticket bleed uh, with the, the closest cap. I know a lot of times I will judge myself and think I can go to a different cap on the map and go capture it and figure that the ticket bleed won't matter if I do that. Um, but a lot of times we end up losing so many tickets in that time where you're moving from cap to cap that it would have been just easier to go cap the closer objective. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm not going to move from B to go to the one that they already have. I'm just going to sit here and capture it, grab a crew member, and load up on some ammo. Now, there's one thing about playing the Challenger that I, I'd like to stress to anybody who ha doesn't have it yet or is moving or looking to get it or even has it and is having trouble in it. You have to understand that while the turret is a fantastic turret and it bounces a lot of shots, it absorbs a lot of shots, the mantlet and where the gun breach is, oh, boom, lower front plate into the carousel. <laughs> um, the mantlet area of the tank is kind of like a, a void for shots. Any shot that goes in there is just gonna get sucked in and destroys your breach, possibly your gunner, 
and it's really bad. So the way to the the way to, 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 to neglect that or kind of give yourself a better odd is obviously fighting from longer ranges away so it's harder for them to hit such a small spot but also shaking your turret and wiggling your turret can be beneficial now this can also get you killed noted so if you're going to do this it's an advanced tactic and know what you're getting into but if you want to wiggle your turret it generally helps on any tank because you're throwing the barrel in front of where they're shooting and since the game kind of takes ping into account i will definitely takes ping into account but i noticed that this game when you're shooting at an enemy tank and if the other tank has a different ping or something you'll hit parts of the turret that weren't even there when you shot say but since he's moving the turret and stuff on a different speed it might not register the same for you so if you wiggle your turret you have a better chance of throwing the barrel in the way of the shell and the barrel eating it and you'd rather just repair one barrel than possibly your gunner switching seats and your breech so here we push to the middle of the map i believe i'm on four kills and i see a guy right there duff the shot early and this is really bad. Uh, I probably could have saved that teammate had I hit that shot well, but I didn't. We shoot the back turret of a Type 90, which is insane that that didn't one-shot him. But the one guy's hurt and the other guy's fine. So we put another shot in there and get the gunner. He turned around and saw me. A teammate went down to my left by the castle. So I'm going to take a look over there and boom, <laughs> there goes that carousel, I know. Um, so that's, I believe, six. And here's another T-64 coming out of spawn. He sends a shot at me. I send a bad shot at him, but we're going to recalculate. There he is. And it's an A. So he catches, or it's a B, but he caught it regardless <laughs> to the upper front plate. Uh, didn't have that ERA. I don't know if the ERA would actually stop an APFSDS shell. Uh, I know it adds some type of armor towards uh, normal connect rounds, but I, it's not a lot. I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments down below. So I see that B is being captured. We're on seven kills now, and we're going to start moving over to B. I send a shot through the smoke because you never know. You could meme him, and more than likely, he's just still going to be sitting in the smoke and doesn't really know where the shot came from anyway. So I'm going to push up, and instead of pushing straight through the smoke, I'm pretty sure I post up for a second and let the smoke dissipate. I hope I'm smart. I, I think I remembered playing this smart because I wanted to double ace. So I slow down. Yeah, <laughs> I use the bush as cover from my left. If anybody's coming from their spawn, uh, odds are they might not see me. And there we go. We got a type 90 right there. I put a shot through his ace. It goes uh, straight through the tank. And he can't shoot over the back of his turret anyway. So we put another shot into him. And that's my eighth kill. Now, the timer is 7 minutes and 45 seconds. I don't think... So this is about six minutes, eight kills in about six minutes on Folda with the Challenger. I've never really done this before. I think it was one of my best Challenger games yet. I'm sure some of you guys in the comments have definitely done better than me. Don't, don't say, you can tell me about your experience. Just don't make it a competition, guys. Don't hurt my feelings, all right? I think the eight kill game was pretty good. Um, and I know people are just, I had a 35 kill game on fucking Moscow once. All right, all right, all right you Moscow mule. How would you settle down now? But if you guys enjoyed this video, if you liked the commentary over some good clips I have, let me know in the comments down below. I have people who have sent me clips in the past, um, and I've, I've talked over them, and I haven't really been doing it. I've been having people send me some stuff, and since I did it with this video, I think I've done it a couple weeks ago, I did another one, and you guys seem to like that one. So if you want to make this a viewer thing, or a just good, good round overall, uh, thing best clip that I get sent of the week whether it be me that does it somebody in G squad one of you guys uh, And I can talk over it We can kind of pick apart what people do in certain situations that make you play better and stuff I think the learning experience of War Thunder uh, is something that I need to get more in tuned with again I used to do a lot of tutorials. I stopped for a while. I turned into like a, a Just click on everybody type thing uh, But since more people are going to be getting into War Thunder because of these helicopters and modern vehicles and since you can buy in at such a high high tier, maybe the knowledge needs to be spread again. So hopefully you all have a fantastic Saturday. I should have another video out today. I will be live on the Twitch channel and linked down below. If you wanna know anything else about me or when videos are coming out, or even when I'm taking some deuces, uh, you should follow me on the Twitter. That will also be down below. If you need a community, you want some people to uh, play with, maybe talk to me, we do community nights and stuff like that um, on the stream sometimes, feel free to hit up the Discord. I think that's enough self-plugging for one video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you all for watching. Peace, peace.